Understanding the Ban on CFCs, a Guide to Environmental Vocabulary. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an important environmental term, the ban on CFCs. Understanding this phrase not only helps in learning English but also in grasping a vital environmental issue. So, let's dive in and uncover its meaning together. Before we understand the ban, let's talk about CFCs. CFCs stands for chlorofluorocarbons. These are man-made chemical compounds that were once commonly used in air conditioners, refrigerators, and aerosol sprays. The key thing about CFCs is that they are harmful to the ozone layer, a protective layer in the Earth's atmosphere. The ozone layer plays a crucial role in protecting life on Earth. It absorbs most of the sun's harmful ultraviolet UV radiation. Without the ozone layer, this radiation can lead to health problems like skin cancer and cataracts, and harm animals and plants. Therefore, protecting this layer is essential for our planet's health. Now, let's talk about the ban on CFCs. Due to the harmful effects of CFCs on the ozone layer, many countries agreed to phase out their production and use. This agreement, known as the Montreal Protocol, was established in 1987. The ban on CFCs refers to this international effort to stop using these damaging compounds to protect the ozone layer. The impact of the ban has been significant. Since the Montreal Protocol, there has been a considerable decrease in the amount of CFCs in the atmosphere. This has led to a gradual healing of the ozone layer, showing how global cooperation can lead to positive environmental changes. I hope this video has been informative and helped you understand the meaning and importance of the ban on CFCs. Remember, Learning English can also be a gateway to understanding global issues and contributing to a better world. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next lesson.